So I'm writing here one package com.jtc.p1 and in that I'm writing one JTC class. So in this now mainly what I'm discussing or what I'm writing is one simple uh, thread example which I'm writing. So what I told that whenever your JVM starts that it will create one thread and for that now we have to see the further processes. What is that now thread? Like suppose I am writing here. What I am writing now? Thread dot current thread dot get name. I just wanted to see first what is the name of the current thread which is there in that. So thread dot current thread dot which one now get name we are writing. So this is what our the current thread is going to be. So see here we will see what is the name of the current thread in that. It is going to print. What it is printing now here? It is giving there that is the main is the name of the current thread and this is how that it is processing like that, right. So again in the further case when we are writing something here, okay. When I am writing something in this, I wanted to get the name of the thread group exactly. What is the thread group name? So if I am writing, what is that now? Thread dot, it is in current thread dot get, I am writing. What is that get I am writing? Thread group dot get name I am writing. So here what I am printing is the name of the thread group which is there in that what all, what is being created here. So here also when I am getting so what it is giving now the name of the thread group is uh, something called as the main it is okay. So thread group name is also main and thread is also which is there that is the main inside this. Again now like at any time suppose now if you wanted to get the priority of your current thread, what is the priority of the current thread? So suppose I am writing, what I am writing? Thread dot current thread dot get thread group or sorry, you just write it here, the get priority I am writing inside this. When I am writing get priority here, so what is going to come now here? 5 is going to come for the thread priority here. This is what the uh, 5 which we are writing here for the thread priority. So system dot out dot print ln uh, thread dot current thread dot which one next I am writing now get thread uh, group uh, thread priority I am writing. Okay. Now so these all are the basic things which we have seen. Now suppose when you are writing any thread t1 is equal to new thread. In this now I am writing here what is that I am writing now t1 I am writing here. When I am writing T1 in this, T1 whenever I am writing all that, so what is coming here now you just see that here. The things which are coming here is the thread is the 0, this is the name of the thread. Second one is the 5 is the priority of the thread and the main which we are writing is the name of the thread group. Because what happens whenever you are creating thread like this, right, and you have not specified any name of the thread, so the by default the name of the thread will be like thread 0 will be the by default name of the thread and like that similarly it will increase it in this manner. So here it is showing you three informations here about the thread. What all informations it is showing you here? One is the thread 0 is the name of the thread, thread 0 which you are writing is the name of the thread, 5 is the priority of the thread and the this represents the main is the name of the thread group. Under the thread group main it is thread 0 which is available inside this, okay. Similarly, in the further cases when I am creating here, what I am doing now? Like I am writing here t1 dot get name or just I am writing the get thread group dot get name I am writing. You can see here what is the name of this thread group which is available here. So the name of this thread group is what now? Main. And again some more thing I am writing t1 dot which one now get something I am writing thread or I am writing here what is that I am writing now yeah. current thread dot get name I am writing inside this. So when I am writing the get name here what is that I am writing now get name I am writing. So the t1 dot current thread dot what next I am writing now get name I am writing inside this. So when I am writing the get name in this, what exactly is going to come here? So what is this now? It is coming here as an main it is coming inside this. 
Okay. Now again inside this, what is the further things which it is there or which we are talking about is like here I am writing t1 dot current thread dot get name and all things as, a, as such again I have written here. So, I wanted to see something like suppose I am writing here the for loop. In this for loop int i is equal to 0, i is less than let us say 5 and i 5 5 thread dot current thread dot get name. Here plus I am writing under the thread group of here I am writing again thread dot current thread dot get what is that now get or current thread you can just write like this current thread dot get thread group dot get I am writing here the name of this thread. Okay. When I have written all that, so you can see one output how it is giving you. What it is giving? Main under the thread, main, main under the thread, main, but because that is a default thread and which is uh, running here. Okay. In that also, what I wanted to do here in this, I will be writing just to try and correspondingly I am writing catch e in this thread dot which one now sleep of something called as the 500 millisecond I am writing and e dot print stack trace I am writing here inside this. Okay. And I am writing the print stack trace here. So, what is going to come now? See here it is taking some time for the sleep and then it is coming it one by one. So, you can understand like what is the and this is what the by default threads are and this is the what default uh, thread processing is there or in this manner all that is being done here one by one. Okay, now. 